Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be sharing with y'all all the books that I got in June and July. <laughs> really good at buying books just gotta say um a bunch of these were free so yay me woohoo round of applause for me i also wanted to say that my birthday is coming up september the 4th i don't know about y'all but i really 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 love to give on people's birthdays so whenever anyone that i know on booktube who's my friend i really love to give them books from their wish list on their birthday so if you're like me I don't know uh, my wish list is down below down in my social media section like no pressure whatsoever to go and buy me a book I'm not asking you to but if you feel like giving my birthday's coming up soon I'm gonna be turning 21 this book haul is 18 books so I better get a started so the first two books I have to talk about I actually won in a giveaway so my friend Emma from Mogul Glamour hosted I believe a 500 subscribers giveaway and I ended up winning and she said I could pick anything that was under $25 from Book Depository so I ended up picking up two paperbacks. I ended up getting Heart of the Fae by Emma Hamm. Um, I have talked about this book constantly since I've read it. This is a fantasy romance book retelling of Beauty and the Beast involving Fae so if you're into Fae books this one is really good in my opinion. This is a uh, relationship between a midwife and a fae prince who has been outcast. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. I hadn't had a physical copy yet because I listened to this through audio, I believe, and that's pretty good too. So if you're into that, go ahead. I just think this is so pretty. The artwork is gorgeous. I think all the artwork for Emma Hamm's books is gorgeous. This is my first physical copy of her book, so, so I'm super excited. So thank you, Emma, for sending this to me. And the other book that I picked was Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, this is actually the Lovely Ladies Book Club pick for the month of August. So if you want to join in for um, our book club and our live show at the end of August, we don't have a time or date set yet, but be sure to keep updated with my Twitter and Stacy and Ashley and Jen's Twitters if you want to check it out. But yeah, this is a romance book, I believe, about a girl who um, is really obsessed with rom-coms and she's like waiting for her Tom Hanks like show up in her life, like this big dramatic love scene moment kind of thing. But I think she ends up like falling for like the complete opposite of Tom Hanks, I think. Don't quote me on that summary though. I'm not 100% sure that's a summary, so. <laughs> I just, I like going into books blind, so I may not know a lot about these books, so bear with me. But yeah, this seems really cute. It's really short. I believe it's only under 300 pages, so that's a plus for me in my little physical reading, reading slump. <laughs> okay, the next three books I got all signed because I went to a signing at my local small bookshop called Blue Willow Bookshop here in Houston. I ended up getting all three books signed. I'm so excited to share them with y'all. So this was an event with three authors. Um, one of the authors is actually a Houstonian, didn't even know. I originally went to this book signing because a very popular author who I love was in this book signing at this event and I needed to get this book signed and all of her previous books that I've owned signed but then at the book signing listening to all three ladies talk to each other I was like I need to buy the other two books as well <laughs> so I did that. This is Stealing Home by Becky Wallace. This is I believe a baseball inspired YA contemporary romance book all about our main character named Ryan and she is the daughter of either the coach of a baseball team or the owner of a baseball team. She ends up falling for I believe the new recruit to the baseball team who I don't think has this like life together or anything like that. So uh, <laughs> it's like their I believe like awkward romance story. She read the first chapter to us and it was so funny like the first chapter ends with like him yakking all over her shoes so it was really really cute the first chapter so i cannot wait to get into the rest of this it was really cute she gave me two little um things like a little postcard and a bookmark and then she signed it to avery it's more than a game becky wallace so this sounds really really cute and i cannot wait to dive into this very very soon next book that i was not expecting to pick up 
but I did because it sounded so interesting was Past Perfect Life by Elizabeth Yulberg. So this is about our main character girl named Allie and um, she is applying for college but all of her college applications get bounced back because her social security number is fraudulent. So she ends up realizing that she's not who she thinks she is and she's not who her father says she is and her father may not even be her father. It sounded so interesting and so cool. So she read the first chapter to us and I was just like, that sounds so cool. I need to get my hands on it. And uh, she signed it for me. She says, for Avery, Elizabeth Yulberg, and it was so cool. She said she loved my name and she might steal it for a, a book that she might write. <laughs> so I was like, go ahead, take my name, go ahead. <laughs> and lastly, the re main reason why I went to this book signing was to see Bridget Kemmerer. I got Call It What You Want. This is a Robin Hood retelling set in modern day. It's about Rob whose dad was caught embezzling funds from half of the town and he's not really in the good graces of the people at his school and I believe it's about him like stealing from the rich to give to the people who his dad has basically pissed off. I believe there's a little sprinkle of romance in here maybe. I'm not 100% sure but Anything Bridget Kemmerer, I'm gonna love. I've loved everything that I've read by her. And she signed it for Avery Bridget Kemmerer. And she loved my name too. And I saw Elizabeth before I saw Bridget in the signing line. And so Bridget said how much she loved my name and she might steal that for a book. And I was like, oh wait, Elizabeth just said that too. She goes, I'm gonna beat her to it though. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Fangirling over here because people want to use my name in a book. <laughs> but anyways, yes, I really enjoyed the signing and I loved meeting all of these authors. The next two books I know nothing, literally nothing about. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give a summary because I don't know anything about them. Um, my grandma gave these books to me. My grandma and I read very different books. She likes murder mystery kind of books, I think, and I don't really read those, um, but she gave them to me for free. She like had like a box full of like 10 books and I do not have the space to put 10 books on my bookshelf. So I was like, you know what, grandma, tell me what two were your favorite and I'll take those. So these were her two favorite out of the bunch. This one, the first one is The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Know nothing about this book at all. It's a very good floppy book though. The next book is Someone Knows by Lisa Scottaline. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. No, that thing about this book, but the cover is really, really pretty. So, <laughs> next, I purchased Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. This book has been all over the book internet, booktube, book Twitter, everywhere. This is a romance book, I believe, about our main character named Georgie, who is a clown like a birthday party clown and no one really in her family takes her seriously and then I think she starts a fake relationship with Travis who I think is like a family friend and I think they end up actually falling for each other. I just heard that this is a real steamy so love that love my romance steamy book so I'm excited for this one for sure. <laughs> Next book is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is I believe my third copy but this one was free don't worry. I did not spend money on this. My sister is going to college for the first time in a couple days actually and um, I was in a room chilling with her and I have always been eyeing this copy of Pride and Prejudice for literally years. My sister got this years ago for a class in high school and I actually never read it so I've always been staring at it on her bookshelf being like I want it and you have never read it. Can you please give it to me? So I was looking at it obviously in her room kind of like eyeing it wanting it to be mine and she was just like you can have it I don't care and I was like oh, thank you so I had this gorgeous copy of Pride and Prejudice now so thanks so much Logan okay all of the rest of the books for this book haul were free I got them from the free shelf from the library I went to the library like maybe like four three times in uh July so I got quite a lot of books because every time I go there I get great deals. <laughs> I find great books. These two are probably the ones I am loving the most and I can't believe they were in such good condition in the free section of the library. And that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. A hard copy, like in pristine condition, and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, hardback, pristine condition. I actually do not own the complete set of Harry Potter. I only have books one through three, the um, paperback novels and 
the illustrated editions. I don't have anything over book three because originally I read them all through my school's library when they first came out. So I didn't have these books and look how pretty they are. I'm so happy <laughs> to be honest with you. I was so shocked that they were in the free section so shocked. I'm excited to add these to my collection. They're gonna go literally right there in that empty space. Next, I found a copy of The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton. This is a book and movie that I believe my mom grew up watching and reading, so um, it's very near and dear to my mom's heart. I've watched the movie, but it was years ago, and I honestly don't remember all that much about it, but she loves it, and I trust her opinion, so I decided to pick this up and add it to my collection because I feel like this is a, just a short read that I will enjoy one day. Next we have The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Again, on the free shelf at the library. I have been wanting a copy of The Book Thief for so long because I've just heard great, great, great things about it. I finally have my own copy and it looks so good. Um, this is a uh, World War II story about a little girl who steals books, I believe all in the perspective of death, like death is the narrator for the book. So that's all I know about it, but I hear high praise from this book all the time, so I cannot wait to read this one as well. Next, I found Atonement by Ian McEwan. I'm so sorry, I'm butchering that. I believe last summer or the summer before, some of my friends here from my old high school, we sometimes get together and form like a summer book club. This was, I believe, the book that we picked last summer or during winter break, I'm not sure. But I was super duper busy and I wasn't able to participate, but I did watch the movie along with them after they read the book. And I really enjoyed the movie and I ended up not getting to the book. So um, I decided to just get this copy because it sounds really interesting to me. Um, and I'd love to read it someday actually. And I really enjoy this movie tie-in edition. I normally don't like movie tie-in editions, but I think this one is super duper pretty. Next we have Love Poems and Sonnets of William Shakespeare with classic silhouette illustrations. I find this so beautiful and I cannot believe that someone gave this up and donated it to the library to be honest with you. It's just so pretty. It has all of his sonnets in here and I, I love it. I, I, I came home and showed my dad and I was like, I just, I can't believe that someone would give this beautiful book away. <laughs> but yeah, this has all of these sonnets and love poems of William Shakespeare. So I'm excited to have this in my collection. <laughs> Next, I found a really pristine copy of The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. I have been wanting this book for a really long time actually because back when William and Kate became William and Kate, I was obsessed with William and Kate. Um, and this is kind of a uh, retelling inspired story of William and Kate. That's all I know about it actually. But it's really pretty and it always caught my eye at the bookstore um, at Barnes and Noble, but it was super duper expensive. What? It's like, it's $27. So I uh, was not going to buy this myself. So. I ended up getting it for free anyway from the library, so big plus there. Next I found The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I only picked it up and brought it home because Haley from Haley in Bookland, I believe, really enjoyed this book, I think. I don't know, I just remember her talking about it, that's how I know about this book. But I think it's about like a society where all of the city like lives in one tower and like the higher up you are in the tower, like the wealthier you are, I think. But yeah, seems super interesting and this cover is flippin' gorgeous. <laughs> and lastly, in this book haul, I found a really pretty copy of Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I really loved this. It has all four sisters on the front. When I saw this at the library, I needed to get it because it just, it looks so, so cute. It has all four sisters on the front. Ah! If you didn't know, I read Little Women I believe a couple months ago last month and fell in love with it one of my favorite classics of all time i'm okay that i got another copy of it because i got it for free so there you have it that was my june and july book haul let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to i'd love to know and start up a conversation with you about them down in the comments below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching and i will see y'all soon with a new video bye mm -hmm.